It's always going to be a big clash when the defending champions are in operation and particularly when the defending champions are under pressure the way that UWC are today. A repeat of the final from 2015 where UWC beat TUT right here in the Western Cape by two goals to one to take the crown for the very first time after UP Tux had won the title in 2013 and 2014. Giovanni Cafon up. Good early test up. Oh. 20 year old, first, second year, rather big upon a big accounting student. Look at much space he's been given, and a, it's a very good option indeed because he just hit it off the outside of the right boot. Numbers in the box. Good looking ball, finds the man. Opportunity against the run of play. Saki Lemtembu says, Thank you, Siabonga. Wow, what a turn in fortunes. It's been all UWC. Bushy Malloy and Co. They've been taking it easy. Wow, scary to see that they're only playing in second gear. Yet they're still banging goals. Good strength and a good turn. Options in the box. Good swing up. Lloyd Murulu and gets up. Touch him. Whip back into the box. For me, what Marulani did, he did well initially, coming across his area, tapping the ball away from the UWC attackers. Have a look at this ball that's been delivered in here. I think, Kevin, it's also quite evident that TUT, well, they're going to stay true to the name. Lovely piece of skill from Silent there. Beats one, beats two, gives it to Silent, makes it back to Silent to find the reply. Wow, that was beautiful football from Silent to Smith to that man to the back of the net. Yeah, it looks like Manana who uh, managed to grab it on the right boot this time. But he missed with the left boot earlier on, but I think Manana is that's run onto this one. So maybe he's a natural right footed player. Now, oh, sucking him temple. Finding space for the man. That's a good ball, but that, that finish was disappointing in the end. That man, Terras Mashiach. Good touch there from Sakilam Tembu. Joby spotting the run of Masitang. Masitang swings it. With his right foot. That was a mistake there that was nearly punished. Uh, that was a pretty close moment for TUT to get back in front. Masitang did brilliantly well, but PWC clearly short in defense and uh, poor piece of defending, really. Him out. Finds that man silent. Silence is TUT and sends the home fans into rupture. What a cacophony of noise. They love that one. We have a game on our hands, Mr. Evans. TUT. See, TUT can afford to, to lose this. Not that they'll want to. Let's trust Silent again. Silent showing his strength, bundling one man and. Lay it over. Numbers coming forward for UWC as Chad Smith perhaps a bit too overconfident, a bit too ambitious. Ethan Swart was making the run on Sunday. And the home fans, Bellies, as long as his teammates. Cross comes in! That man unmarked. Good cross, good head up. Lloyd Marulani, the right place in the right time, Kevin. Yeah, I thought it was Nkosi who came in deep there. It was a really, really terrific ball. Nkosi, unlucky. Nice set this opportunity for Swanee View University of Technology. Is it swung in? How did that stay out? Look at that. The two just to ricochet of one of the players. Save! And they bury it. Brent, Brent Lehman. Could only just parry it onto the onrushing Jacob Khalele. That's the sixth of the tournament. Sniffing around and shows why. It's at the top of the food chain in terms of killer strikers and varsity football. Prolific in terms of delivering alternate quality from a right back position. Ease. Breeze, breeze is past this match. Still continuing the run. That would have been a spectacular finish to the game. Wow, what a run, purposeful. In the end, TUT showing why they're so strong. UWC though, two goals against TUT to have a share of the sports.